Good morning. I'm Nate the Great from Forward on Forum on Every Report, recording live from Forest Times Distance, Ohio. It's called work. Breaking news, a man by the name of Doug Bob Forrest has been caught stealing tons of cheese from Kroger. Witnesses say that he rushed into the store with a push meter 5000, shown here, and pushed all of the employees out of his way. He was apprehended at the scene and taken into custody. And now, over to the Mid-Ohio Racetrack with Nate. Thanks, Nate. Today I'm here at the Mid-Ohio Racetrack, and today I'll be talking to some of the racers about how they keep safe during all of these races. So I'm going to come talk to this guy right here who has volunteered to be as part of this interview. So tell me, oh, oh my god! Move! Move! Get out of the way! Oh my god. Hey ladies. Who are you? Like, what do you do and stuff? Well, my name is Dexter McCoy, and I love racing! Oh my god, so like, is it dangerous? Of course it's dangerous. Why would I do something that's not dangerous? Uh, I don't know. I you mean, super strong. Yeah, you must be so strong. I know. Yeah, I, uh, I'm pretty strong. I feel. Oh my oh god! My god. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so like, how did you start racing? Well, see, it all started when I was five years old. My dad let me drive his 67 Mustang GT. Best day of my life. I was set from then on. That's so, so cool. awesome. That is so cool. Well, you know, awesome is my middle name. Dexter Awesome Nicole. <laughs> that is even more awesome. Oh, okay. Parting all these cars past the We are at a racetrack after all. So, like, so, did you build your own car? Uh, yeah, this baby's worth my own twins. <laughs> oh my god. That is so cool. Uh, ladies, I wasn't through yet. Please, go. Get, get out of here. Go. Me. Scram. It's so rude. Scram. It is so rude. Ugh. Sorry about that, folks. So back to safety. So tell me, sir, <laughs> does your seatbelt work like a normal car, or are there extra modifications you made to it? No, nah, all racing cars have a modification called a five-point seatbelt. There are two straps that go up here, two straps over your shoulders, and one strap that comes between your legs, and they all fasten here together in the middle. That sounds extra safe. I bet it keeps you very still in the car. So, tell me, does your car have airbags like most normal cars, or are there further modifications to that? Actually, no. We take out the airbags in race cars because the extra impact from an airbag during a crash will make it even more dangerous. That's so weird, because I always thought airbags were supposed to keep you safe. Well, they do, but not at the speeds that we race. I see. So, tell me, do you wear this type of clothing for a race, or do you have some kind of special sponsor suit or anything special that you like to wear, anything lucky? Well, first of all, speaking of clothing, I'd like to give you this Dexter McCoy autograph. Well, well, thanks, sir, but I really don't think it's necessary. It's it's no problem. Autograph t-shirt. Uh, uh, I mean, um, uh, the Acura Sports Car Challenge being held at Mid-Ohio this year. Um, okay, okay, okay. Thank, thank but anyway, you. But anyway, sir, back to my uniform. These are just my street clothes. I usually wear a flame retardant suit, and I have a helmet similar to this one. Keeps my head nice and safe. Oh, oh my god, I love it. Oh my god, that's like oh my, my favorite color. Oh my god. Oh, hold on. Hold on one minute. I gotta do something for these ladies. Oh my. Uh, you don't oh. have to. Yeah, you don't have to, but. There give, you go. Give me that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes, sir. Okay. So, tell me, what is a hands device? I mean, I've heard of it, but I don't really know about it. So, what does it do? Well, the hands device, not like hands, but like H A N S. Uh, Senor Hands decided, had this good idea that if you make something that goes around your neck to support it, if you get in a crash, you won't get whiplash. <laughs> so, we wear it with a part of our, as part of our uniform. Huh. So, so that sounds like something that a roller coaster might have. I wish some roller coasters had that. Yep. Good night. So, I, I have a couple more questions for you. Are there any other safety modifications that you make to your car besides the seatbelts and the airbags? Well, there's some modifications we make not for safety, just to reduce the weight, like taking out the back seats and extra materials we don't need. But in regards to safety, we have the five point seatbelts, we have no airbags, but also, these windows, and I don't have it in yet because it's not race time, but there's a net that goes here that keeps me safe, and the passenger window has a removable plastic window that I can break if I need to get out. Interesting. So so why do you reduce all of the weight? What is the purpose of that? Well, it actually makes your car go faster. I mean, it kind of makes sense. Less friction with the track if it weighs less. 
Okay. So, last question. Um, what are what kind of safety procedures do they have outside of your car on the racetrack in case of crashes or other events? Well, here at Mid Ohio, they have a system of barrels and sand pits around the dangerous turns that catch you and slow you down if you happen to go off the course. All right. Well, thank you for your oh, time. Okay, wait, 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 don't conclude yet. Are we not done? Okay, we have one more question. So, like, I, don't, I don't even want to do okay. it. I know. That is a great question. I actually have a race day playlist. Oh, that is that is awesome. Sounds a little bit like this. This <laughs> way. Mr. Newscaster? I got this, don't worry. Well, you know that's my middle name. Good morning, this is Nate, and I'm Asian. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Don't get any old sass. Some people.